Um, but my new merch is still the same price. But, yeah, I love my new merch. I hope you guys love it, too. Has anyone received their new merch yet? <sighs> I'm so tired. Oh, Billie Eilish. Yeah, obviously. Thank you for reminding me. I'm watching from Greece. Oh, I've always wanted to go to Greece. Literally like Mamma Mia vibes. Oh my God. I love Mamma Mia so much. I literally, I at one point over the summer, I made Mamma Mia 1 and 2, like two summers ago. I literally made Mamma Mia's soundtrack my personality trait. And I like loved them. I could sing every single one. Love it. Your yawns are contagious, but cute. Aw, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so tired, but like I'm not. And every time I come here, I'm like kind of tired, but I'm fine. I just like, just like wanted to come say hey. Like I just wanted to chill with you guys, you know? Um, it's hard, do you go on ghost hunts with Jake? No. First of all, Jake's pretty skeptical, as you guys can see in the Sam and Colby videos. Secondly, I, I'm i scared. <laughs> like, I'm a little scared. Like, I'm not going to lie to you guys. You look so tan. Yes! I've been in my pool a lot, and I tan really easily because I'm Middle Eastern. I just don't usually let myself get tan, but this these past few days, I just, I said, fuck it, and I just let myself get tan. I have, like, I don't know if you guys can even see my tan lines right now, but they're pretty, they're pretty wild. Go give the girl in your basement water. What? I don't have a basement, <laughs> so. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so sorry, you guys. What's wrong with me? Oh, I got my nails done again. They have like Louis Vuitton um, like stickers on it. I have fire and sparkles. I'm really excited about that. I could actually function with nails. I'm so happy. Your platforms, Miss, where do you get them? I get most of my platforms. It's a brand called Dumania. And um, you could look up, like, Dumania shoes. A lot of different stores have them. But the one store I go to is, um, it's, like, this random punk rock store on Hollywood Boulevard. And I can't think of that. I think it's called, like, Hard Rock or something. And I, I can't think of the name of it right now. But I get most of my shoes from there. My eyes so itchy. Oh, real big Nick. Do you know how I can get in contact with Jake Weber? I made a poster for him. Well, Nick, yeah, I'm sure you have his number. So you can just give him a text. Um, say one word in Arabic. I don't know Arabic. I know Farsi. So I couldn't. I have a lot of Arabic friends. But can we see sugar? Oh, but he's sleeping. Hold on. <laughs> Poor guy. Go to bed. Sorry. He naps. He's a napper. Unlike me, I hate naps. I do these things called mental naps where I pretend I'm napping. Because, like, naps are physical, right? You close your eyes and you go to bed. I do these things called mental naps where I just sit on my phone for four hours in my bed and I pretend I nap, but I'm still fully awake just in case something happens and I'm not a part of it because I have FOMO. <laughs> I don't sleep ever. I will answer any question that you have. How many ear piercings do you have? That's a good question. I think I have 12, but I'm not sure. So one, two, three, right on this ear. And then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 12. Oh yeah, 12, right? I have eight, I think, hold on. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, wait, 9, 10, oh, I have 11. I don't know why I think, I thought I had 12. God, I, I literally was just like, how do I count? <laughs> 
Would you have your nose piercing? I feel like I answer this in every live, but I've already had my nose pierced and I, I don't know, I didn't really like it. I liked it for like the time being, but I don't think I'd ever do it again. Maybe, I don't know. Did you get ready for this live? No, I got ready for my day and then I was like, I should go live. What eyeliner do you use? I use Roller Lash Eyeliner. It's like the matching Roller Lash by Benefit uh, mascara. But I don't think it matters what eyeliner you use as long as it doesn't like flake or smudge. I think as long as it's a good quality eyeliner, you could I could you could work with it. You know, it's not the eyeliner; it's the skill. I'm dying my eyebrows while watching this. What color are you dying your eyebrows? <clears throat> what lipstick or lip gloss do you use? Okay, so I use Boldly Bare Liner by MAC, and then I use Velvet Teddy to fill it in with like the lipstick by MAC. Please respond. Do you recommend shaving the back of your head? I really want to do it. Okay, so right now the back of my head's like low-key kind of blonde. I don't really like the way it looks right now, but um, if you have really thick, it's like a blessing and a curse, like it's so thick still, and I've shaved like this much off, um, then do it. But if you have thin hair, I don't recommend it because it could just like make your hair look thinner, unless that's what you're going for. Um, personally, I did it originally to make my hair look thinner because I was just so sick of doing so much. And I also worked at a place where my hair always had to be up and I liked how it looked, like the look was cute and I just kept it. I've had it for like two years. So I do recommend it for people who like it. I don't know, I love it. I'd recommend it to anyone who has thick hair. Um, that was a good question. Am I like the only dude on here? Probably. <laughs> Where did you work? I used to work at a coffee shop called Pete's Coffee. And like obviously when you work with food, your hair shouldn't be down. It's usually just up in a bun. Um, so yeah, I worked at a coffee shop. Wait, are you vegan or vegetarian? I'm pescatarian, so I do eat like sushi and like seafood, but I don't eat any kind of like land critter. <laughs> Critter. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that. What series have you been watching? Uh, I've been rewatching New Girl. It's one of my favorite um, shows with my dad, actually. I just got my dad into New Girl. The day I like tore my tendon or I sprained my tendon, I couldn't even walk. Like, I couldn't move. And so we were sitting in my backyard, and in my backyard, I have like a TV in the wall. So we were just like watching like episodes and episodes of New Girl, and he's like, mm, play it from season one. Like, kind of into this so i've been rewatching that with my dad do you wish you weren't pescatarian no i don't wish that um i've been for like seven years i think i don't know i don't keep track that much i know it was march 10th when i was 14 so seven years six years i don't know um i don't regret it i like it a lot and if i ever do choose to go back i will i don't like a, i'm not like stubborn against myself if i ever do choose to eat meat again then i would do it but as of now i think i'm fine sometimes i, I i'm like oh chicken sandwich sounds good but then i think there's alternatives and i'm i'm okay i have i have um what's it called self i, I forgot what i was gonna say i have self Oh my god, it's on the tip of my tongue. This is such, this is such bothering me. This is so bothering me. I have, I have self, can someone help me? Oh my god, this is, like, I'm, self-control? Maybe self-control? I don't know. Is it self-control? More self-control? I think so. I think that's it. I don't know, but, like, yeah. Same thing. Self-control, I think. I think that's what I was going for. Resistance? I don't know what resistance. It's like self-control. I feel like that's the word, but it doesn't sound right. Um God. Do 
do you retouch your sorry i'm just gonna forget this and go to my next question do you retouch your hair pieces yourself or go to the salon i used to go to the salon but in quarantine i learned how to bleach my own hair so i've been doing it myself or else my hair would have probably been like grown out out to here willpower thank you Han Hano Cho. I'm sorry if I don't pronounce that right. Yes. What was it, wait, what was it again? Willpower. I'm more willpower. Thank you. <sighs> God, that was a roller coaster. I'm so tired. Okay. So, right before quarantine started, I heard about 1D night in like at like a club, and I really wanted to go. And I think it was on like the 25th or some of something. A fan came up to me when I was out actually like partying at night. A fan saw me and came up to me and said, oh, there's a 1D night coming up. I forgot her name, so I'm so sorry. But she was like, oh, there's 1D night coming up. And I was like, oh, my God. And I wrote it in my phone in the notes. And then I never got to go because quarantine started. So I'm really upset over that. I just felt like I should talk about that for a second. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. Wow, I'm, like, really upset now over that. I think I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go and make myself a coffee because, like, thinking about that makes me emo. Would you ever go back and do a last to leave the box again challenge again? Yeah, I would do it. I'd probably leave earlier um, because I would know that I wouldn't win. Um, I was technically in second place because after I left, everyone was still there and then they ended up splitting it. So if I never left, I don't know, maybe maybe things would have gone differently. But um, me and Franny kind of made like a thing where Franny was like, okay, well, I'm going to go. And I was like, okay, I'll go like five minutes after you, probably. So she left. I never even used my bathroom pass, which is like kind of crazy. And I honestly, I know I always say, oh, like that box stresses me out. And it does. But when I tell you I think about that day, probably every day since it happened, I'm not kidding. Like that's the most like tired I've ever been in my life, probably. It was literal hell and like it was my choice to be in there like i wasn't being held captive but it's i for sure have some kind of trauma <laughs> from it like i'm not kidding like glass showers freak me out now i'm like i'm not going in a glass shower because like what if i can't get out <laughs> oh my god okay i yawned to get i yawned again i need I need some coffee. I'm going to go now. I just wanted to pop in and say hello to you guys. I love you. And if you guys haven't seen my new video, it's really cool. It's just like a follow me around type video. Um, it was fun to make. Sugar makes an appearance. So does Jordan, my manager. Um, go check it out. It's in my bio. Link in bio. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great, amazing week. I love you guys so much. And I'm going to skedaddle out of here and go make myself some coffee. Bye.